If you want to learn how to smoke the best beef ribs, then my friend, you have come to the right place. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and in today's video, we are gonna be smoking some beef ribs. Before we get started in today's video, I just wanna give a quick shout out and a big thank you to all of you guys that have been subscribing to this channel. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers recently and you guys are trying my recipes and you really like them. Thank you for leaving feedback in the comments. Now, if this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to subscribe, try my recipes if you like them, let me know in the comments and if you don't like them, well, let me know too let me know where i can improve so with all that being said today we are smoking beef ribs we're gonna get started on that right now i'm gonna show you how i season them so there's two housekeeping items that i want to mention before we go ahead and season up these beef ribs and the first being that these are actual beef ribs okay i want you to take a quick look at these i want you to look at how thick these are these are the beef ribs that i'm talking about when i say we're gonna be smoking up some beef ribs these really really big long bones that you have through here and a lot of thick meat on top now the second housekeeping item is these are ribs so they do have a membrane on the back and if you take a look at this membrane this is actually very very important and we are going to keep this membrane now with these ribs if you were to take this membrane off peel it off and you go to cook the meat is just going to tear right away from the bones because of how much it's going to shrink up this meat is going to shrink up a lot and there's gonna be a thick section of bone on each side it's not the same as pork ribs where you could take the membrane off so those are the two things i wanted to mention before we go ahead and season this and before we season it i'm just going to show you how i trim it up all right so as you guys can see there's a lot of fat on top of this and sometimes it comes with it sometimes it doesn't but what i'm mainly concerned about is some of this stuff right here this is uh extra hard fat that won't render down a lot of this fat right here will render down but this is a nice big chunk of hard fat so we're going to take this off but more importantly we also have our silver skin and as you guys can see right here right here where the tip of my knife is uh this is the silver skin it's a kind of a discolored it almost has a bluish silver look to it and this is the stuff that we really want to make sure that we get out of here so i'm going to take my knife and i'm going to go in through here and i'm just going to kind of make one little cut and peel it back now the goal is to keep as much meat as we possibly can even if you take a look right here you can start to see this right here is is the silver skin this stuff right here this is fat this is silver skin we want to make sure that we get rid of all of this silver skin now to do that we're gonna to have to cut this off and just kind of take it out in little strips so just keep going ahead and trimming this back and, and as you guys can see here i'm not really getting too much meat you can see the fat right through there so i'm just going to go ahead and continue to do all of this until that's all done so for our seasonings today we're going to be starting out with a layer of salt notice how i'm getting the sides you want to make sure you get these sides really nice and good now notice how we did not put any salt on the back side and that's because i believe when you're salting the back side of these beef ribs i don't think anything's actually getting down to the meat because you'll see at the end of the cook this membrane is so thick and hard that i don't think anything really penetrates through there i mean maybe it does to a very minuscule amount but i'm just going to focus on really seasoning this meat side so now I'm going to start out with my pepper and the pepper I'm going to go a little bit heavier on because I want to have that nice that nice kick that nice Texas style flavor to it so we are definitely going pretty heavy with this pepper on this is also going to help give us some really nice bark and that looks really nice and good to me it looks like a nice amount of pepper so I'm going to go ahead and pat that in and we're going to continue to pepper up our sides here as well make sure you get all four sides make sure you get a nice amount of pepper on there and we're just going to go ahead and keep turning it around making sure we get all of our sides and after you get done with that just want to make sure that you really take and pat down all your sides make sure everything's sticking really nice and well now for this last layer of seasoning we're using some of this beef rub that i use i really like it on brisket so i'm not going to go super super heavy with this i just want to put enough on that we get a little bit of this extra flavor in there i want the meat to really be the star of the show and i also want a lot of smoke penetration so we're just going to go ahead and call this good here we're going to continue to get the rest of our sides and then i'm going to let this meat sit for about 30 minutes to one hour if you notice i did not use a binder in the beginning that's because i'm actually going to let this meat sweat out and while it's sweating out what that's doing is it's drawing in all the seasonings into the meat so now that we have all of our seasoning on here on all four of our sides we're going to go ahead and just pat this down and we're just going to let this sit here and rest for about 30 minutes to one hour it'll come up to room temperature and it'll soak in all these amazing flavors and seasonings we have on here then we'll be ready to go on the smoker so today we're going to be smoking on our pellet grill this is the pit boss austin xl all we're really doing today is we're just getting this up to the right temperature make sure we have some nice clean smoke coming out and then we're going to get our beef ribs on and this is a lot of beef so let's go ahead and get that set on there and i'm just going to take and i'm going to put one 
right about there. I'm gonna put this other one right about here. I'm actually gonna take this one and slide it maybe just a little bit like that. Make sure there's a little bit of space in between it for the smoke to flow through. And we're gonna get her shut down. So I'm just gonna let this sit here for about an hour. I'll come back out in 60 minutes and check this. Uh, I just wanna make sure everything's going smoothly in here. Once our bark is starting to get formed in the meat section is starting to get dried out, we'll go ahead and spritz it. But for now, I just wanna check on it about every hour or so and until it's ready to wrap. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. So as you guys can see, we have really good drawback from our bones and we're starting to get a really good bark on here now. So I'm rubbing my finger across, it feels really good. And as I'm squishing it, I can tell that this fat is starting to render really nicely. It was also past 165 internal temps, so we know it's time to wrap. So now it's time to wrap. So I'm just gonna very carefully and very idiotically kind of just try to get this over here. The bones are really hot, so you really don't wanna do what I just did. I didn't wanna put my stupid gloves back on. So this right here looks about good to me. Way I can kind of come in and get one tuck on the underneath side. Then we're going to take and fold over on this side. Take and give it a nice little fold. Gonna take and give it another fold and it's not quite gonna go all the way so you're just gonna you're just gonna want to tuck this back so that way it sits on it perfectly and there you go now you got yourself a nice little package of your beef ribs you just remember where the meat is on top and the bone on bottom you can feel it where it's curved on the bottom and hard and nice and meaty on top so we're gonna set that off to the side now if you want these to get tender even faster you could put some sort of liquid in there like a beef broth or whatever you're spraying it with i did spritz it only once throughout this cook but I i'm just gonna let these go how they are i think they're doing nice and well i'm not gonna add in a bunch of liquid i don't really want to ruin the bark at all it has really good bark on there so he's gonna go back on now and i'm gonna let them go until it is probe tender which is typically after 200 degrees after 200 degrees something magical happens in the meat world and just becomes super nice and tender you should be able to stick your probe in there and pull it out just like butter we're gonna let them rest for a little bit slice into them and then we'll be ready to enjoy but for now we're going back out to the smoker these ribs sat on the smoker in the butcher paper for about an hour and 45 minutes until they were probe tender and ready to come off after we pulled them off the smoker then we let them rest for one hour our beef ribs are finally done resting it is time to pull them out get them out of this butcher paper chop into them and take a bite let's go i started this cook at four and right now it's at 11 30 probably started resting around 10 30 so it's been a long time coming i'm really excited for this it still feels really hot but make sure when you're resting this that you burp it every 15 minutes because sometimes they can kind of overcook in there so so this looks great i'm gonna open up this other one and then we'll slice into them as you can see we have a great bark on both of these. I kind of feel like these are bigger than the ones that you normally get, especially this one. This one kind of seems about right, but. And so I remember telling you about that membrane. Look at how this membrane has kind of uh, settled on here. It's really, really thick and really, really hard. And I don't think any seasoning penetrates through this like it would on like a pork rib. So now that we got that all real nice, we're gonna go ahead and give this a slice and show you what it looks like. The membrane is real nice and hard to cut through. Oh yeah, this is so full of juice and moisture. I mean, this cooked perfectly. This fat is nice and rendered. This looks great. Let's take a look at, let's take a look at this bad boy. I mean, that is just good barbecue. Look at that, all that juice that just pulls right out of there. I mean, this is rendered fat. This is great barbecue. This bark is set on there, super, super nice. We really accomplished everything that you want on good barbecue. We have a nice smoke ring. This is just great. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up this other side. Now there's really only one thing left to do and that's to try it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do what any man would do and just take a big bite out of this.
Wow. Mm. This is so moist, which reminds me a lot of burn ends. It's so fatty and moist in there. Now, we did a very good job seasoning this. It is not too salty. It has a very great peppery bite. These turned out really, really good. By the way, I actually don't even think I said this throughout my whole video at all. I use hickory smoke, just in case you're wondering. I mean, I just want you to appreciate that bark that I got on there because it's not an easy thing to do. To get good bark, you have to be really patient. So I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. I just nibble on this for days. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed this time with me. I'm gonna get back to eating my barbecue. My wife is gonna get back to going to sleep because she actually woke up in the middle of the night to help me with this because, you know, I work full time trying to make YouTube videos. It's difficult. So if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be making all sorts of awesome videos all year long. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next video.